Hello, this is Tom Kern at University College Dublin. I've recorded this online presentation to explain how to record an online lecture using PowerPoint. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand how to use PowerPoint to create an online presentation. So first of all, you need to create a PowerPoint presentation with a number of slides. The uh, presentation format can vary according to individual preferences. So for example, whether you animate the slides or not uh, comes into question. My preference is to bring in uh, most, if not all of the information on a slide at any one time and limit the amount of animations unless uh, you wish to emphasize any particular point. It's also important to insert slide numbers uh, in the uh, presentation as well to make sure there are numbers on each individual slide. So when you're happy with the PowerPoint presentation, then uh, save that as a PowerPoint file and also save it as a .pdf file so that this PDF file can be provided for download along with uh, the online uh, presentation video. So this facilitates note taking. Uh, so some people might like to print out the slides and write on them by hand, or they may have uh, a tablet and they're using annotation electronically. So when you're ready to record the slideshow, you go under the slideshow command in PowerPoint and press record slideshow. Then uh, before you actually start the recording, just check the microphone and camera. Um, I would recommend that you use a headset microphone uh, because you get better sound quality that way in case there are any background noises when you're recording. You might also wish to use a camera and you can select that as well, uh, whether you use a webcam or a built-in uh, camera in your PC or laptop. Then you can decide whether you want to add in the camera, turn it on. You can turn it on and turn off uh, the camera for any particular slide uh, if you wish to emphasize a point. If you do turn on the camera, your uh, headshot will uh, appear on the bottom right hand side in, in the corner of the slide. So you can just try it uh, at the beginning to see if that works best or not. Also, the microphone can be turned on and turned off on the bottom right hand corner of the slide. If you wish to get a preview of your headshot as well, there's another little icon beside the camera at the bottom right hand corner if you wish to click on that too. I always uh, want to make sure that all the recordings are cleared before I start uh, recording, just in case you're using a previous file and uh, updating uh, some slides, just to make sure that the recordings are clear before you start a new recording is important. So when you're ready to start recording, you click on the red button on the top left hand corner and uh, proceed uh, to speak into the microphone. As you're finishing each slide, you can just uh, click on the arrow key to move the uh, slide to, to the next one. And then uh, you can uh, go forward and back as well and stop if you wish. So it's useful, especially as you get used to the recording system, just to stop and uh, check that the slides are being recorded properly. So you can click on the stop button on the top left hand corner of the screen and press replay. If you're not happy with the sound or some aspect of uh, a particular slide, then you can just clear the recordings on the current slide as shown on the top right hand corner of the screen here. You can also move back and forward at any particular time. If you stop the recording, you can click on the left and right arrows on the screen or uh, use the arrows on the keyboard. 
It's useful to check recordings uh, from time to time. You can do it in the recording view, or if you press escape from the recording view, you can check the individual recordings on each slide in the slide view. So on the bottom right hand corner of this screen, you can see in the slide view that there's a red arrow pointing to the sound icon. So when you go into the slide view and click on the sound icon, you can uh, open up this uh, dialog box on the bo bottom right hand corner of the screen. So again, you can press play on this uh, view and it will uh, play back the individual recording, the audio on that particular slide. So when the recording is complete, you can stop and replay uh, to check any recordings in that recording view on any slide that you have recorded. And you can do this at any time during the recording period and uh, when it's complete as well. Also to note that there's a timer on the bottom left hand corner, which gives the current uh, slide recording time and also the total recording time beside it for all of the slides put together. You can press escape at any time to go back to the presentation slides from the recording view or going in the other direction, you can press recording, record slideshow to go from slide view to the recording view. So when you're happy with the file, when it's completed, all the recordings are complete, you can go file save as dot mp4 file and that creates the video file that can be uploaded to YouTube or any other sharing platform. So for example, we use media.hea.net.ie for HEANet member institutions if in Ireland. So in this final slide, I always like to remind the viewers of the learning outcome uh, as I've introduced it at the beginning of the session. So uh, in this case, uh, the learning outcome was that you should be able to understand how to use PowerPoint to create an online presentation. So I hope you have found this uh, presentation useful.